What is going on, everyone? Thank you again for tuning into another video. I appreciate it. Thank you for everyone who's been watching all the videos and checked out like the last video I put out. It's been real awesome to see the response, and it seems I've been able to really, you know, help a few people out there and connect with a few people. You know, a few of you guys sent me personal messages, kind of let me know what's going on and shared your story. And, you know, I'm glad I'm able just to, you know, just even if it's just a little, even if it's just the duration of the video that I'm able to help and hopefully give you some insight and something you can take away from it that you can put into your situation. I appreciate it. Uh, this video came out a little late, like I've been trying to be on a schedule with doing it weekly. I mean, I probably will put this out like a week, a day later, essentially, but I've been trying to do better with getting them at least a week out. But this weekend was Mother's Day and that was just a little, that was a little tough. That, that was a little tough. Like I knew, I knew two days were going to be real intense for me uh, for May and you know, interesting enough, her birthday's in May also. So I knew, okay, these two days, I mean, really this whole month it was gonna hit me and it did hit me hard. Once Mother's Day hit, I was just no good. I was, I, I couldn't, you know, externally I was trying to look like I'm there and I'm happy and I'm cool, you know, just really just celebrating her. But internally, I was a wreck and it took a while just for me to really just get back to well, normal is out the window, but just getting back to like a functioning, you know, level. Because once I started to see all of like the Mother's Day commercials and, you know, all the TV shows were based around like a Mother's Day kind of skit, I was just like, Ugh, you know, I have to change it. I just turned, really, I've just been keeping the TV off and I really don't watch a bunch of TV anyway. But, you know, when I do, you know, usually I got to see like an ad or something like that for some Mother's Day present or a getaway. And it was just, it was rough. It was so, it was grueling. Like I could feel the tears like building up, building up. And then once the day uh, actually hit, I was just like, oh no, I just, I couldn't. And then, you know, you peek on Instagram or you peek on Facebook, you see all the Mother's Day shout outs and things like that. And you're just like, oh my God, this is, this is so grueling. And it's like, I'm happy for everyone who's hanging out with their mother on this day and this and that, but it's like, you know, and that's why I had to just get away because I didn't want to be the person to almost like kill the mood. It's like, you know, everyone knows what, what has happened. So I'm just like, you know what, let me just get away from everybody. And because I don't want to take away, you know, the positive energy and the happiness from people who are celebrating. So that was tough. So and then her birthday was on the 14th. So it was just like, boom, 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 boom roller coaster so i just couldn't even i wanted to put out the video but i just was like every time i started it you know writing out kind of what i wanted to touch on and and you know how i felt about certain things because really i want to make sure you know not only am i just most of the time just letting it all just fly but i want to really touch on specific things and really just you know be very m meticulous with what i'm addressing and bringing up especially like at each particular moment of, uh, of this process you know so i just couldn't even do it you know i couldn't do it i would start the video and i would stop you know i would get through it i would lose it so i just had to put it away so that's why it's going to come out a little late you know that's what was going on you know it was just such a trying and just a tough time and like i said in the other video it's like what i've been using like a, a little trick i've been using is just I have to bring in the positive memories of her. Like the minute I have like the thoughts of you know, her last week's here, you know, I have to immediately replace it with something positive, you know, a fun memory, a happy memory, you know, a fun time, you know, a fun picture, you know, that I've been finding tons of pictures of her and I just honestly through all my years of growth from a child to an adult and I have to replace it, replace it. And that's what now has been allowing me to, you know, get out of this depression, which I feel it's coming on and it's not even, you know, at the, the tipping point, it's only going to get worse. Like I felt into, you know, getting up has just been, there's some days where it's just, it's going to take me an hour. You know, I'm already wide awake, I'm ready to go, but I just don't want to do it. So I've been now taking the energy and trying to, you know, just put it more on a, on a positive note. It's like, okay, Let's celebrate the, the good times that we had. Let's celebrate 
the beautiful moments. And let's not utilize this time because it's still time that I can utilize. It's still time that I'm in control of, you know, dealing with what's with, with what's going on. Let's take this time to rewire my brain. I, every time I think of her, I shouldn't be going into this deep, dark funk. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to work out. I don't want to do anything. It should now, and I've been working on it, and something I've been really diligently trying is, okay, she should now be that light source and that energy source to say, no, let's get up and let's do it. Because what I was finding was happening, you know, I'm just getting in this deep depression where nothing's getting done. I don't want to work out. I'm missing, I'm skipping workouts. You know, what well, work is shut down. But even just being proactive in other things, other endeavors that I was working on when I was going to work, you know, I would just stop that. It's like, that's not, I'm not working on myself. I'm not working on the business. Nothing is just happening. And it's like, well, I can't allow myself you know, it's one thing to grieve, but hey, right now I can do some things and I can at least try to work on some things as I'm going through this process, as we're going through this process. And one of the things was I can use this, this energy that I'm having that was putting me in this dark place and it was putting me in this depressive state uh, where now it's like, okay, let's flip it around. Let's use it as your energy, use it as your fuel, use it as, as a mom marker, as your goal to say, okay, come out as the hero out of all of this. You know, come out as, as the champion. You know, show how to really come out of adversity. You know, even if it is just getting up and doing five things out of seven out of your to-do list today. Even if it is just getting up and just going to the gym, you know, letting out. That's something I'm a real big proponent of. And I've always been, even before this. It's like working out, it's not just about, you know, the external, how we look. Even though the better that we feel about ourselves and the better, you know, how we, how we view ourselves, that does play a factor into our mental state and how we may approach certain things. So that is a part of it. But also just how do we feel internally? You know, getting out that extra energy, uh, having a schedule, sk just having a, a schedule, you know, period, you know, understanding uh, scheduling and, and having a strategy and having a plan as you get up. So that's what I've been doing now. It's like, OK, because I've been skipping a ton of workouts. I don't want to do it. No, no, no. Now is the time for me to, you know, use this adversity, use this trying, trying time to say, OK, I'm going to use this to motivate me to get up and I want to be the hero of the story, you know, because it's very easy for me to, and it's not like a flip of a switch and it's like, okay, snap my fingers. I'm just gung ho with everything, but at least now I can change my thought process and change the way, you know, I want to approach certain things because my first approach is I just want to go under the covers, curl up and cry my eyes out, you know? And it's like, well, okay, I understand that, but how long is that going to go on? How long is that what she would want you to do? Or would she want you to go on, become the hero and overcome all of this and now channel, you know, this energy and put it forth to what you were, you were here to do and to understand and to continue and find your purpose. And I've been slowly but surely trying to work on that to really just change the way I'm thinking and how I'm allowing uh, my thoughts to play out with my action. And it's been really helping. It's been really helping. Like, obviously, see, I'm in the cutoff. So, you know, I'm going to get ready after I finish doing this video to go go train. It's nice and early in the morning. Um, the sun is out. It's going to be a hot day. And just go. And just go. And be the hero of this story, you know, instead of allowing myself to be the victim. You know, of course, this is a grueling and intense experience. And, you know, this is nowhere near the solution. Like, it's not just a one size fits all. And I'm not saying, OK, now things are just going to be better and we can just move on. But it's a step. And it's been a step for me because I've been going to some dark places mentally. And it's like, I know I cannot stay here, but it's tough. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. So. I've just been going really within and just having like these meditations where I'm just just silent and just processing it in a different way, trying to process it not only externally. And when I say that by like, you know, just letting it out, crying, you know, going to the gym and things like that, but also process processing it internally where I'm just trying to 
get more understanding of what is causing, okay, I know this is tough, but what would she want to do? What could I, how do I continue the legacy? How can I utilize this and help people or, or even push forward? You know, even the, the idea of making this video or these videos came out of this. It's like, okay, this is something that I don't wish any, wish on anybody, but people are going through this and, and similar things. Okay, maybe here's an opportunity that I can use this experience, this you know, horrendous experience and turn it into, and I hate saying the word into a positive, like, you know, but yeah, like turn it into a positive that maybe I can share some of this and it can help somebody else, you know, and it can help someone else carry and get to themselves to the next step. And then from that point on, it can help somebody else and so forth and so on. So I had to look at it like that and then really being as transparent and, and talking, you know, and talking to you guys. And it's like, you know, it's just me and the camera and, and a light and just expressing myself and just being as real as possible. So I've been using that and this has been a, a great way that I could talk to you guys. And I've, I've been getting the response from you guys, which has been awesome, I appreciate it. And I've been using that same kind of mind frame to change the way how my actions are going with just conquering the day and just still being productive during the day. And mind you, I'm not saying every day is easy. Every day is still brutally hard. You know, yesterday I fell right back into the same same emotion, the same feeling. You know, but I feel myself getting a, or trying to at least get a grasp on the day. You know, even if you know it takes an hour or thirty minutes to get truly up. You know, at least I can grasp the rest of the day and try to push forward and, you know, try to just eradicate this depression because, you know, that's something, and I know that depression, you know, with something like this, it can kick in a year from now. It could really ramp up a year from now. That's really when you want to look at it. And I don't know what's going to happen a year from now. I don't even know what's going to happen tomorrow. You know, I plan for it. I want to be there. You know, I want to have a plan of attack and action for tomorrow and next month and next year. But I also have to be in the moment as well and, and conquer the now. So it's just kind of finding... Well, there's no such thing as a balance with it, but just it's a it's a balancing act, so to speak. So that's just what I've been working on. And we're going to see we're going to see how how it plays out, you know, because I want to get back into working out consistently. I want to get back into my jujitsu. You know, I've been doing yoga now and, you know, it's it's been like I said, working out for me has never been just about, oh, I want to look good, big guns and the sign of third. It's been OK. It's helping me mentally even more than it is physically. And for me, that's what I've been seeking right now. It's like having outlets and channeling energy that can and and doing things that can really elevate me mentally. And that's why I've just always been a proponent of training because I feel it is very therapeutic. You know, whether it is jujitsu, of course, I think everyone should take a form of martial art. If it is just weight training, you're running. You know, like I said, I just started yoga, which I think, I thought I would never start yoga, but it's been a beautiful thing just to start to do yoga. And I've been having a great time doing yoga. And I feel after a good training session, I'm able to walk away just feeling good, having a new idea, a new thought, a new positive thought. You know, I'm able to get rid of some of that excess energy that's not doing anything but but weighing me down. You know, it's to making me, you know, think certain things. So just getting just really tired. And that's just been helping me out a lot. So, you know, I want to really encourage people to go out there and go work out, go find a trail. You know, I want to eventually start riding, you know, bike riding, mountain biking and things like that it's like you know these are things that right now if you're going through it you know finding an outlet finding your plan you know i know a lot of people aren't working right now you know so there is a lot of time when you're just able to just be indoors and you just start to think and that could be good and that can be bad it was bad for me because my mind would wander wandered to some real 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 dark places and it's like i have to catch myself and come and bring it back so now it's like hey here's a time to where you know you can start scheduling and start strategizing you know blocks of time to go outside go work out go train go go get a mountain bike you know do what it is you've been putting off and go and do it so 
just something to think about. But I'm gonna go ahead and have some coffee, get this workout in, and um, this video will be up today. So I appreciate you guys for watching. As always, more videos will be on the way. And um, yeah, shoot me a comment, like, you know, what are you going through and how are you able to deal with it? We'll definitely, you know, love to hear it. And we'll be back soon. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Peace.